Hey guys, um, this is just a little thing that I'm working on right now. I'm going to be, uh, sorry about the, for the background noise. This is my house here, my backyard pretty much, and, uh, my camp was over there, and it's really windy over there, and, uh, everything is so muddy, so I figured I would just start out new and make a little teepee here. And this is going to be what's inside of my teepee for a campfire. Um, I wanted something controlled, and I had this in the ground um, at the other campsite over there. So what it is, it's pretty much just a jet um, stove. It, it is a jet stove. Um, what we did, we went to a uh, hardware store, got um, just some normal piping, and um, then we got a uh, elbow there, and then um, got a longer pipe there. So basically the wood, the fire starts here, um, and it, uh, the air comes through here and it goes out through here and it gets really really hot um, it's really great um, it's very very efficient and so this is going to be what's inside of my teepee and my bed's probably going to be right here next to this and I wanted to put bricks around it so it looked better and also that it um, so then uh, if I accidentally touch something my hand wouldn't fall off or something like that so, sorry about about the uh, shaky screen. Um, don't have my tripod right now. But, um, so that's what it's going to look like. And maybe at some point I could, like, those bricks would be so hot where I could just put my skid load on there. Possibly. That is if I've been running this thing for, like, nonstop for, like, four hours or something like that. But, yeah, it's really, really great. It's awesome to cook on. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Well... Um, this is the, um, jet stove right here. I boiled, I don't know, probably six cups of water, enough for my top ramen. In that thing, less than a minute. I put it on, um, I ho heard something, and you can see, right there, the metal, that's a metal button, that's not plastic, that's metal, I mean the, uh, little handle right there. It's completely melted. I cannot believe how hot this thing is. And as you can see, there's no smoke. I'm here in my TP right now. And if you can see, I have a hole right there so um, everything will go out. And like, there's not, there's hardly any ash and there's hardly any smoke. It's just because this thing is burning so hot. Um, it works absolutely amazing. I would recommend it, but make sure you... Uh, this channel is mostly for younger um, people that are uh, doing outdoor stuff, so make sure you get your parents' permission to do this stuff. Um, I bought the, I, this is just a um, throw cloth for painting and stuff. This is from some other time, so don't worry about that. Um, but anyways, drop cloth works well, and like, just the tarp I have here. So, it's pretty spacious, that's my my uh, backpack there with all my stuff and this is just right middle this works really well guys I would recommend it highly um, this metal right here and the uh, everything everything here for um, except the bricks of course um, cost me like I think twenty dollars so it's not terrible um, but if you got one of those uh, to go things, um, one of those ones with a handle and stuff, those are like $200. So, this is a good alternative. Um, you, it's also bigger, so you can fit bigger stuff in there. Um, make sure if you make a TP or something like that, make sure you have a lot of space in between the walls because that would be dangerous. You can melt the plastic really easily. This, I mean, it, ha, that is so hot. Just putting your hand just close to it. I mean, it is. Of course, all the heat's up here um, escaping, but that's all right. At least it's something. It's the de de dead of winter right now. I mean, if you were right here, you would be like, you would understand how hot this is. All right, guys, I'm going to boil some water here. This is a fairly decent size of a uh, pot. Um... So I'm gonna, this is cold water out of a jug, as you can see here. I'm gonna fill it all the way up. 
I'm never going to put my lid on it because it's going to boil so fast. Um, it's ridiculous, okay? So, as you can see, that's the TP. This this is the TP from outside. My little workstation here. Um, my work tree, I just put a lot of stuff on it. And what I'm going to do here is that I have so much extra tarp here, I'm just going to lay wood here so I can cover it. It's in the dead of winter, but it's it's weird. Iowa usually snows like crazy, and lately it's not been snowing. So, it's just really, really cold, but not snowy. So, that here, and as you can see, there's not that whole, there's not a whole lot of smoke. I'll try to give you a good background. Um, so you can see, there's not a whole lot of smoke coming out of there. So that's really nice. It's burning so hot, it's burning all the ash and smoke with it. So I'm going to cut so I can go in there and uh, boil this. Alright, just so you know, it's the same cold water before. It's still pretty cold. So, I'm just going to pick this up. So I didn't pre-boil it or anything. I'm just going to set it right there. And look at the clock. Wait for it to focus. Uh, come on, focus. Okay, whatever, it's 3-5. 3.05, so I'll check back when it's boiling. Alright, so it looks like it's almost boiling. It looks really cool. And it is now, and I did not set this back, okay. Um, it is 3, looks like 6 or 7. It's 3.07 right now. So it's only been about 2 minutes. And it's wanting to boil. Um, there's a there's ash in here because I didn't put the lid on out obviously and I blew on the fire and this is not as hot as it was um, let's see as it was when I boiled the water in the next slide I think yeah so this is yeah it's kind of complicated how I'm gonna put this video together but okay you see the little bubbles gathering let's see when it's gonna Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Fire's really died down. It's hard keeping these things at the same temperature all the time. Wait for it. Well, I guess I'll just talk. That's my, uh, that's my tender bag. I have a lot of fat wood in there. Um, fat wood shavings and stuff like that. Um, it's got a smaller bag. I, I made this out of paracord and a sheet and a very simple design. I have a, I have a smaller version like that inside of that to hold fatwood shavings. Okay, now it's getting to a rumble boil. Rumble boil. I don't know. How, I don't know what I'm saying. But here that is. It's taken actually quite a long time. Um, I'm actually really surprised that it took that long. But it's only taken technically five minutes. We started out at uh, 3.05 and now it's at 3.10. So that's awesome. It's doing a good job. Five minutes, I would take that over, you know, whatever. I remember when it took me like a half an hour to start a fire and that was it. Now I can start a fire and uh, get a boil going within maybe 10 minutes so I'm really happy that's it alrighty guys thank you so much for watching this video um, if you liked it please leave a thumbs up um, I would really appreciate it um, since I'm just starting out this is one of my early videos um, and if you would subscribe to see more content which I'm planning on putting at least one video or two videos up each week um, this is just a fun project that I was going to do already, so I might as well make a video out of it, right? So, make sure you have an opening at the top. <laughs> that's the most important part. Um, thanks for watching again. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye.